Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Refund Horizons, and uh, it's been a few weeks since I did a training video, so I'm in the office doing some work uh, Saturday afternoon, and I thought I'd do a training video. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you guys the process uh, that we go through to resolve a boundary here, and we've got a good workflow and some checklists on our on our website that you can download for free. But <coughs> I'm going to walk you through at least part of that process here. This is a boundary survey that we're doing in in Turlock, California. So I'll just I'll show it to you real quick. I've got a so we've got this parcel here. Uh, there's an orchard on it right now, and it's got two houses up here on the north end. So we're basically going to come in and segregate this out uh, so they can develop the, the develop the orchard. Probably going to be single family homes. I don't know for sure yet, but I suspect. Um, and just kind of to give you a, a quick overview of what we got going on from a boundary perspective, we've got a subdivision here on our west side we got a subdivision here on our south side there's a brand new subdivision going in on the north side which has been mapped um, our parcel has not been mapped so it was created by deed and then our east adjoiner which is this has also not been mapped um, so we're going to have um, good surveyed lines on three sides i think and we're going to have to come up with this line based on these two uh, land descriptions for these two deed parcels and uh, hopefully we'll we'll get to that in this set of videos. <clears throat> so that's kind of a quick quick overview. So um, and we found monuments, found found lots of monuments. So uh, I think we can tie down these three subdivisions. Hopefully everything fits. Um, I don't know because I haven't been through this data yet. So I'm kind of doing this live. This is real life. Um, so uh, I'm not sure what we're going to find yet. But uh, hopefully these three sides will be fairly easy, and then. I'm not sure uh, what we're going to find here with these two deeds. It'll be interesting to see what we got. Okay, so that's kind of an overview. So the very first thing uh, we do here at Redefine Horizons is we set up what's called our search drawing. And so the way we organize our drawings, our, our boundary search drawing, um, has only uh, found points and uh, record information, and it might have search points. Now, in this case, um, we, we found just about everything we looked for. Uh, and everything that we didn't find, I'm 98% I'm sure, is smoked. So um, I, what I won't be doing in this particular survey is uh, I won't be creating search points. There are some cases where we go out, we do some initial work, and then we go back with search points. But I don't think we're going to need to do that in this case. Um, almost everything we look for was in a center line monument well. Um, there were a couple points we found that weren't, but almost everything was. OK, so we start with a search drawing. And then, um, so everything in the search drawing is record, okay? Even if there's gaps and overlaps, that's okay. And then what we do is we, we end up taking our search drawing and converting that into a uh, boundary line work drawing, which actually has the resolved line work where we, we may not hold record. We may hold monuments instead of a record measurement, or we may hold one record over another in the event of a conflict. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll get into that. I don't think it'll be this first video, but. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, I've got my uh, search drawing open in Carlson, and I went ahead and imported my points. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is it's really important when you start this process that you have a good good point file. So this is my point file, and what I did is I went in and made sure that I had descriptions on all these um, so that I, I knew what I was dealing with. Um, so I went through the field notes and just checked make sure that I had good descriptions. Um, it's good to could get that set, get those description, good clean descriptions set at the start. So I did that and then imported the points, okay? So you can see there in the drawing here, I'm just working at a 20 scale. So I think that's what our topographic mapping is gonna be for this. And I want them to match. I want my boundary drawing scale and my topo scale to match. So uh, this is what we found. And so what we wanna do is we wanna uh, start inserting our maps to set this up as, a, as our search drawing. And I didn't code with the maps, my team code with the maps. And uh, hopefully they followed our CAD standards. I guess we'll find out. So we want to go ahead and, and insert our first subdivision map. So, and I like to do that as a block. Could also do it as an XREF, but we're going to do it as a block. So I'm just going to run the insert command. And I'm going to go into the Kogo folder here. And here's my three maps. I'm just going to pick the first one. I don't know which one this is yet. We're going to find out. I have looked at all these maps, but I don't, I don't remember the names. And uh, we're going to go ahead and insert that. Okay, and it's asking me to drop it in. Sometimes it ends up way up here, just depending on 
how the Coco drawing was set up, which is fine. All right, so uh, this map is actually over here, and I can see something's up because this is way too big. <laughs> so sometimes you got to check your insert units. Uh, let's try that again. I'm not sure what happened there. Sometimes your insert unit makes things come in. Oh, that's because it's getting scaled by 100. So we don't want to do that. So uh, let's try that again. So it was 100 times bigger than it should have been. All right. Oop. Now you can see, for some reason, we got two copies of this. Um, and I don't know why that happened. Uh, so I'll, I'll need to go in and clean that up. All right, so I know what map this is. This is uh, actually on our the east side of our east adjoiner, so I'm not sure if we're going to use it or not. And man, that looks like it's still coming in too big. Let's try this. Distance, yeah, it's fourteen thousand feet, so that's still coming in too big. And I don't think we're going to use that map. Um, so let's try another map. We'll see if we keep having this scale problem. They coded that map, but I don't think we're going to use it because it's 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 uh, on the other side of our east adjoiner. We may we may end up using it, but but we'll see. All right, let's try. Uh, sorry, browse. Let's grab this thirty-six M eighty-eight. Okay, and I'm just going to try and drop this in at zero, zero. Yep, something happened. It said something about a circular block reference. I don't know why it told me that. Let's try this again. Open. I just put it in it in zero, zero. Insert. Yep, yeah, all right. For some reason, I'm getting a circular block reference, which is weird. Let's purge all everything out of here. Yep. Yeah. So something's up. So I'll tell you what, we're going to purge again. We're going to run an audit. We're going to fix any errors. It says it didn't find any. I'm going to save this and close it. All right, guys. So I restarted, and now it's not giving me that circular reference error. I don't know what happened. Uh, one thing I did do is I did go in and clean these up. Um, just so you guys see, um, my team didn't name them uh, properly, so I've got them consistently named here. That's real important when you're setting up the search drawing because you want to be able to click on a block and understand what document you're looking at. And again, for some reason my team has two of these in here. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. So let's go ahead and uh, I want to edit this block. So we're just going to get rid of this stuff right here. All right. And then we'll uh, close that, save. Okay, so now we've only got one of those, and here's our points over here. So we're just going to come in here and get this close and move it over close to our points. <clears throat> All right, let's do a region. Okay, so <clears throat> this map here um, is actually for uh, this subdivision that's on our west side. So uh, I believe it's this subdivision right here. And you can see they they put in the tie lines. It looks like over to this this kind of square that bounds us in. I think this might be a, a quarter quarter section. I can't remember. All right, so we're going to see if we can um, rotate this into place. Now, one of the problems we have here is uh, this corner here on the map, which is a center line mon. We found a well, but there's nothing there. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and and move it over there because we did shoot that. But you can see there's a well here with no lid. I'm just going to do that to get us close. Okay, but I don't want to hold that point. But what you can see now is we've got these two centerline mons here, right? 
And uh, we actually did find some three quarter inch pipe in there. No tag though on either of those or stamp, but we're gonna, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this there and then we're gonna rotate down, down the center line there. Okay, so we found this other well with a pipe. And you just gotta be careful what you snap to when you do that. Oop. Yeah, something didn't work there. Let me try that again. So you gotta be careful what you're snapping to. When you do this, that didn't line up like I expected it to. Let's try this again. And it's still not lining up like I thought it would. Let me try it one more time. That's really weird. I gotta be careful when I'm grabbing that base point for my rotation, I'm not getting the snap. So I gotta be careful about that. There we go, maybe that'll work. There you go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> yeah, we did find a third monument here. It was under the fence, um, but we shot it. Uh, no tag, but I suspect it was close. Um, it's the only monument we found on this set of back lots everything else looked look like it had been blown out from the fences so that gives me you know that gives me a rough check um, it doesn't look like it's as close as I would like it to be but sometimes that happens so let me uh, bear me with me here I'm not an expert at Carlson yet I'm looking for my uh, I just want to do a, an aligned dim. No. All right. So we're going to just see. We're going to snap to that point. We're going to go perpendicular. And all right. So two tenths. We fit within about two tenths there. So uh, overall, not bad. Let's see how we hit the center of that mon lid. Eh, it's off a little bit. That's what happens when guys don't set their monuments in their lids. Three tenths, so we're, you know, we're probably within a couple tenths on this map. Um, it's not bad. This is a pretty old map, so that's uh, that's relatively close. All right, so we found a, another pipe here. Uh, this is a on a centerline mon, and I believe it was set on this map to the north. And uh, you can see we're we're getting awful close to that. So let's just see roughly where we're at there. So less than a tenth on that one. Okay, so I feel like we got a pretty good, pretty good fit on this first map. So that's going to give us our west line more than likely. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop in our uh, our next map. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm at I'm at 14 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, end this video. And then uh, we'll start a new video. We'll see if we can get those next two maps in on that next video.